Hey y'all, so this is the last full day on this ship. We decided to try out some outdoor mini golf and boy was it windy. Below us was a basketball and volleyball court as well. So, the mini golf had nine holes and was free on the day we went. I don't know if it's always free though. There weren't many people playing so that was a plus because we got to take our time and everyone got to turn at the holes. When I tell y'all I had a nice relaxing time on this trip, I really did. My mom always plans the best trips and loves to add a little razzle dazzle at the end to make it even more memorable. This trip was even more special because last year me and my son didn't get to go because at the last minute the airline said Punta Cana had a rule in place due to COVID that everyone had to have a passport. When I tell you they told me last minute, I'm talking in the airport at the check-in desk. After I asked them multiple times, it was assured that his birth certificate would do. <sighs> okay. Let me calm down, cause I'm getting irritated all over again. Anywho, he got a passport now. So um, I, of course, was the only one who got a hole in one, <laughs> cause I like to shine on the haters. <laughs> Did you get it right? Thank you. Some would call it a lucky shot. I call it skills. The nine holes took about maybe 30 or 35 minutes for us all to get through it. We all started cheating because it was so windy. The balls kept blowing everywhere and we were all over mini golf at that point. I know, I know. I ate a light snack after mini golf because I knew we were going to dinner later. Fruit is always my go-to as a snack, and all the fruit on this ship every day was fresh and very in season. So, we were trying to get in a lot of activities on the last day, but it wasn't much that we wanted to do that was really on the list. After the comedy show, they have some live shows. Um, I saw something that said Showtime, but I didn't know if it was an actual movie Showtime or a theater. She was like, go down to, um, it was as far as you could go. Yeah. To, I think she said the hour. We all ate in the dining room the last day and it was real cute or whatever. Y'all see everything shining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look how nice it is in here, y'all. Mm -hmm. I love cruise ship dining rooms because they always give you fancy vibes. It makes you want to put on some heels, but uh, I don't do heels on a cruise. Much respect to those that do though. The menu choices on the last day were better than the other days, in my opinion. I like the fact that you could seat yourself because you get your dining table info ahead of time. The staff is always so friendly and made sure to call us by our names, which I feel makes the dining experience more personable. The menu had food items for all ages, which is good if you are traveling with a picky eater like my son. But he is getting into the habit of trying different foods, which I'm ecstatic about. You can have some. Wait, yeah, no, I mean, I just want to try it out. Okay. Oh, so all y'all got the fried chicken. Yeah. Thank you. You like it? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, kind of, sort of. When in doubt, order the chicken. Thank you. Thank you. The dessert menu was pretty basic, which in hindsight was a good thing because it was easy to choose from. They had a real cute staff parade and everyone was clapping it up for them as they should have. At the end of dinner, they serenaded us with a song which was thoughtful and fun. Enjoy the ship activities, even if you do them alone. I missed a lot of live shows because I was trying to make it a family activity, but they was not Joe vibing with me. The daily dive-in movies were a good selection and were a really nice way to wind down before bed. Let me take a around. It's beautiful. Right, we're outside. 
Hey y'all, so it's about 2.30 a.m. Um, we are on our way back to Port Canaveral in Florida. Um, tomorrow we'll be debarking off of the boat. So I am on the balcony. Um, just got out the shower and all of that. I had to pack everything up. I did everything super duper late today. Um, as far as packing, so I wanted to make sure that I packed and then capped everything off with a very nice shower. Again, this is the Carnival Liberty that I am on. Water pressure is awesome. Staff is awesome, but they always are. So, yeah, there is darkness. Like, when you're at home and it's dark outside, you see the stars and everything else. But this, this right here, this. This is the balcony. This is outside. It's nothing. And I'm really out on the deck. I'm not putting my hand over anything because there's the water. And then back to the nothing. It's nothing as far as the eye can see. And what you also will notice is there is there, there's no stars. So it really makes me wonder like what the fuck be up with the stars that we see around because there's no stars out here. So it's given them a bit suspicious, but we'll touch on that at another time. So I'm about to get some rest, you guys. And again, thank you guys for tuning into the vlog.